Hi everybody and welcome back. So today we've got another RDA. This is the Armadillo RDA. This is actually um, made by Omier and designed by Demi Crazy Damper. He is a European reviewer on YouTube. And this is a 24 millimeter RDA, kind of short, which I really, really like. It's actually only 30 millimeters tall, which is kind of short. It does have that big airflow system going on. So very, very airy. So very unique type of build deck. So we're gonna take a look at it, put a build on it, and then we're gonna come back up and talk about it. So here is the Armadillo RDA. Okay, so here we are with the Armadillo RDA. This is by Omir, as well as designed by Demi Crazy Damper. He's actually a YouTube reviewer. And this is the social media. This is your scratch off authenticity. It says Omir over here. On the back, it doesn't really give you too much information. You open it up. And on here, it's actually gonna tell you what's included. It includes the RDA, a spare kit, and some organic cotton. And then again, that's the sides, this is the bottom. And then you open it up and you get the RDA. Now it does come in three colors. This is actually the brushed stainless. It also comes in black and also a champagne gold. Um, that one I don't have right now. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So inside we get the RDA. You're gonna get the booklet, which is actually your user guide. You're also gonna get this box here. This box is actually your spares. Get that out. And inside here, you're actually gonna be getting some organic cotton. They do provide you with the cotton. And then in here, you're gonna get some spare O-rings. You're gonna get some coils. You're gonna get some extra flathead screws. Um, you're also gonna be getting a squonk pin and then your negative pin is right there as well, or negative screw. And yeah, and then of course your tri tool. Now again, it doesn't have the squonk pin, which I, I actually have the squonk pin installed in the black one. So I'll be showing you that one as well. And then of course you've got your manual. This has got all, this is the colors that it comes in. It's got like that champagne rose gold, uh, the stainless steel and the black. It is a dual coil RDA. It's gonna tell you the dimensions and some other information about it. So here's the RDA. This is a 24 millimeter RDA. It does say armadillo on the bottom and then you've got this gold plated pin right there. It doesn't protrude very much so I wouldn't recommend it on a hybrid. It does say it's a by Omir and DCD which is Demi Crazy Damper. And then you've got your 810 drip tip. So it is does have your O-ring on the inside. And then you've got a top portion. This is actually where your airflow is. So this is actually what it looks like here. You've got one O-ring here, very, very nicely domed out on the inside. And then we'll take it apart so that we can look at the rest of it. Okay, this is the rest of the top cap. If you notice, it's got really, really nice size um, notches on it, which will keep it in place so that when you're moving the airflow, the actual top cap is staying in place. So no matter if you move it, it's not gonna come off of your coils. It'll always be positioned right on your coils. And then we've got the deck. This is actually the star of the show. So again, this is called the Armadillo RDA. It does have that arched build deck, I guess sort of like an armadillo. And if you notice, it's actually got six post holes. That reason being is because that way, no matter what size coils you have, you can actually build on here. If you've got small coils, you can actually put it right here, medium and then big. So it does actually cater to a lot of different types of coils. And then it's got about a five millimeter um, juice well. So that's always good. I love deep juice wells. If you notice underneath, it's actually got like a shared post system. So it's not, this deck is actually, or this post is not going all the way to the bottom and blocking it to where it would keep the juice on either side. It's actually got an opening here as well as on the side and under here so that your juice can actually flow to both sides, which I think is a really, really great idea. They do have flathead screws. So you will need a flathead screwdriver in order to actually um, take them apart. Let me just go ahead and tighten this down. And they're really, really, really smooth. Um, I haven't had any problems with these screws and these are really, really nice. See, they're very, very nice, very smooth. You don't have any problem with them at all, screwing out or in. So you're gonna open up the ones that you're gonna actually be using. I'm actually gonna be using this one and this top one here. Let me see, which way are my coils? Actually, I'm gonna be using the opposite. That one on that side, and then this one on that side. And then, so for the top four, I'm actually gonna just open up the top four. You can also stretch it to the bottom, but my coils are actually a little bit, you know, smaller, so we're gonna actually do that. So I'm gonna open up the four top ones right there. Pretty nice size. I don't think that they're huge um, by any means for like really exotic coils, but they are big. 
Let's go ahead and get some coils out. I've actually got my um, alien coils from Coil Cloud. You can go to coilcloud.com, use the code Wendy, and it gets you 10% off. And they usually come already pre-dented. I actually stretched out the legs so that I have one up and one down. And all you're gonna do is just put one on the bottom and one on the top. I get my screwdriver so that my hand's not in your way. There you go, my handy dandy screwdriver. So one on the top, one on the side, just like that. And just push that in like this and I'll stretch it out when I'm done. I'm just gonna tighten that one down. I'm trying to look through the viewfinder, not working really well. So that's one there. And then we'll tighten this one down. Just wanna make sure that it's in enough. Let's push this in just a little bit more. Okay. Then we can go ahead and clip those leads. There we go, and then we'll do the other side. I'll grab this one. And again, top and bottom. So I'm push that down right there. So top and side really. It's not really bottom, is it? It's more top and side. And just scoot that one through right about there. And I'll screw that down. Okay, screw this side. I, I'm really not a fan of flatheads personally. I hate when it slips. That's my biggest um, pet peeve about flatheads is getting a grip on it. And then go ahead and cut those leads. Make sure that you don't cut the other coil. Let me bring that one up. Oops, hit you right in the face, didn't it? <laughs> okay, and then we're just gonna go ahead and bring that down and bring this one down and out. Now, the thing is, is with these, um, with these type of holes that they have here, if you notice, my coil is actually that way. Um, if you try to push it over, depending on what type of coils that you have, it actually like can fold over your legs, so you wanna be really, really careful when you're doing that. And then we'll push this one over a little bit more too. Otherwise, at least with the airflow, you can actually adjust it so that it's still hitting your coils, but you don't have to move your coils. So you can do that. I just like to be able to put enough cotton on both sides, not just one side, which is why I'm doing that. And I'm just gonna try to pull this one out just a little bit. There we go. Just to give it that little, I, I really don't like where that leg sits, but that's the way that it is. So that's, that's that. So we can go ahead and start dry burning these. This is where my coil placement is. I'm actually gonna lower this one down just a little bit more. There we go. Match it up to the airflow, which is going to be right there. So it's gonna be hitting right underneath my coils. Bring this one down a little bit as well. Now they're even, so we can go ahead and start dry firing them. Turn this down a little bit. Okay. Let's heating up just a little bit more. Got a little bit of hot spots in there. Okay, this one's starting to heat up now. Really nice, okay. Okay, get out those hot spots. Start pinching this side as well. See all those hot spots in it? That's what I'm trying to get out. We want them to heat up evenly. This one over a little bit like that. There we go, almost done. Some hot spots there. And I'll work on this one again. Ooh, big hot spot. There we go. Heating up and glowing really nice from the inside out. Okay, so there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some cotton and we'll wick this baby up. And then for my cotton, I'm gonna be using my Kendo Vape Cotton Gold Edition. Thank you again, Ricky. I'm gonna keep saying that. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a piece and I'm just gonna cut it in half and twist up the ends. There we go. Go ahead and put that in there. Grab it from the other side. There we go. And then do the other side. Okay, put that one through there. Okay, now I'm gonna get my handy dandy tweezers and we're gonna go ahead and fluff these out. 
I don't like to pack cotton because it takes so long for it to actually um, get the juice up to your coils when you pack it up. So I do like to thin out my wicks. Um, if you've watched me for a while, you, you probably already know this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it right there. And then on this side, right there. Okay, and then handy dandy tweezers. Go ahead and put this under here. You always wanna make sure to leave the hole right under the cotton or right under the coil. You need to leave that space open for the airflow to get through. And just go ahead and swing this one in and then move it over to the side. Again, you wanna keep that space open for your airflow. I'll go ahead and do this side. This one doesn't feel like it's thinned out enough. There we go. Okay, got that. And put that in there. Now it feels better. Push it over to the right and then put the side over to the left. Really, really easy to wick. If you notice, very easy to wick. Okay, so there we go. We've got that open and then I'm gonna get some juice. I'm actually infatuated with this icing on the flakes. So we're gonna be juicing her up with some icing on the flakes by North Shore Vapor. Yummy, yummy, frosted flakes. Pure frosted flakes. That's what it tastes like. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Let me just turn this up. Put some right here. All right. I always do this because we wanna get the cotton within the coil wet as well. Um, because if you don't, then of course you've got dry cotton in your coils and yeah, that just, it doesn't make for a good experience. Okay, push that over there. Wispies, sorry, it just, it's driving me nuts. There we go, do it again. There we go. All right, and then go ahead and wet the rest of it here. Get that nice and saturated. And one thing I wanna tell you, when you're dripping down the middle, it's gonna be really easy, watch this. As soon as you actually drip down the middle, it's gonna disperse on both and it'll actually roll to either side. So I do like that about the RDA. So let's go ahead and put the top cap on. Again, we've got our notches right there, notches on either side. That's gonna keep our airflow in place and snap it down like that and there we go. So let's go ahead and go on top and talk about it. Okay, so here we are back on top with the Armadillo RDA and before anything, I'm gonna go ahead and have a vape and then we'll talk more about it. Definitely, definitely a cloud chucker. If you're looking for clouds, this is a really good one. The flavor is pretty good too. It's got really, really good flavor. It's not the best flavor, but it's really, really good flavor. I actually have it dripping on this and squonking on this, and um, I'll go ahead and have a vape on the top side. Squonk's just as good, really, really good. Okay, so um, let me talk about my cons because there's there's only a couple cons that I have and then we'll talk about the pros. Um, the first con is actually going to be the fact that the I like the deck, but I feel like the post holes were made a little bit too close. So being when you put in your, your coils, wherever they're sitting, it's gonna be a little bit tricky to move them over to the center. I like them centered because that way you get an even amount of cotton on both sides of the coil and you don't have to worry about less on one side and more on the other or cramming cotton on that side that is actually closer to the wall of the deck. So that to me is a subjective con, but that to me is a con to me. If you notice on one of my coils, when I was moving it over, it almost wanted to bend the leg and I don't like that. I really like it to be a little bit more open. Now, to do that, you don't wanna use the top ones. You wanna go more of the bottom ones. And if you have a space coil, it's actually gonna center it a little bit more because those holes are a little bit further. Like you, you can use the middle and the bottom and it's gonna give you a little bit more space. So you can do that. With smaller coils, I like the smaller area, but you can use the other spaces. That's why they give you the six holes. That is pretty much my only real con to this. Um, the rest of them are pretty much pros. I do like the airflow, really, really airy, very wide open. I love clouds, it does it. Um, you can, another pro is that you can close down the airflow and when you close down the airflow, your top cap is not um, moving. So of course your airflow is always gonna be hitting your coils. And that to me is a plus, especially being that if your coils are kind of askew to the side, you can actually cut down the airflow to just cover that side and it will be even. So I do like that. It is very easy to build on. I do like the fact that, you know, you can put in your coils, tighten them down and they're right there. I'm not a fan of flathead screws, but they do work. I would much prefer a grub screw where you can actually crank it down a little bit more than just a uh, flathead. But that's just, that's a, definitely a subjective con to me because a lot of people do like the flatheads. Um, deep juice well, I think that that's also a plus. I think that that's absolutely amazing. 
Also in the squonk mode, I love the fact that the hole is big enough to where like you can literally just one squonk and you're done. You don't have to do two or three pumps. One squonk is all you need. That, that squonk hole is pretty big. So I do like that. Another thing is that you can switch out your drip tips to any 810 drip tip. It does not come with a 510 drip tip adapter. So if you do want to use a 510, you won't be able to use this unless you have like one of those inserts from maybe a previous RDA or tank. Then you can put it in here because it is 810 compatible. The colors, it does come in the three colors. I've got the brushed stainless, the black, and then it comes in that rose gold. I think the rose gold is absolutely beautiful. I think that it's stunning to look at. So I do like the colors. It's not in a million different colors, but there are three main colors and the colors do work. The matte black is actually just matte black. It's really, really nice. It's got the logos on either side. Some people don't like that. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, so that's that. The locking feature, absolutely love it. I love the notches on here, and I like the fact that you don't have to hunt for where the notches are to actually put it down. It's it's right there, right on the deck. You can see it right away, so I do like that. It is dual coil only. It does not have an option for single coil. Some people will still build a single coil on it, but you're gonna get a lot of airflow if you do. I mean, a lot of airflow. Um, it already has a lot of airflow with dual coils, with single coil, you're gonna have that much more. That's, that's pretty much it though. You can have three different types of coils. You can do smaller coils. You can do regular medium coils. You can even do bigger coils and it's gonna fit in this deck because of the six post holes that it, ha that it comes with. Flavor on it is really, really good. It's not the best, but it is really good, really good. I know exactly what's in here. This is my cheesecake, absolutely delicious. And then of course my icing on the flakes, gotta have it. So that is also very good. So yeah, so that's it. So um, that's it for my review. If you wanna find this, they do have it. Heavengifts.com has it, vapesourcing.com has it. It's running about, I, I saw it between like 27 to $29. So you can pick that up. Again, it does come in the three colors. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. That's it for my review. So if you like the review, please give it a thumbs up and leave any comments down below. Like, what do you think about the build deck? I'd love to know how you feel about it. It is very, very different for me. When I first saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, what is it? So let me know your opinion down in the comments below and I will talk to you in the next one.